right, um, my name is Brooke Washburn. I'm part of Team BP with Brad Gibson and Philip George. We're working on the absorption column. Our week three progress was we actually started out with no CO2 in the lab, so we got that order and it arrived um, this last week. We have developed a basic operations manual for the absorption column, and we have uh, obtained some preliminary data. Here's just a standard operations manual that we um, created. I'm not going to go through each step. This is a quite a long process. Here is the um, results that we came with when we obtained our data. This first run that we did, we actually weren't able to get any results on, or any data on Tuesday, so our team came in on Wednesday evening and spent a couple of hours in the lab. Um, we kept the water valve and the air valve open both at 40%. Um, we were hoping for some constant uh, water flow, but we anticipated incorrectly, I suppose. <coughs> Um, as you can see, it fluctuated quite a bit, but our airflow remained pretty constant. <clears throat> the next trial we ran, we put the water valve at 20% and kept the airflow at 40%. For these two uh, trials, we could hear the water valve clicking on and on, so that has led us to believe that it is sticking quite a bit, which may be what give us, is giving us this result of the fluctuating water flow, and our airflow still remained pretty constant. So we decided to try it again, this time again at 40% for both the water valve and the air valve. And this is when our air flow completely cut off. So um, we're not exactly sure why that happened. We went down, checked the pressure gauge, uh, went through all the steps that Dr. Henry and Dr. Ennis went through with us on Tuesday when this happened. However, we did not get the water flow to come back up. Air flow. <laughs> or air flow, yes, thank you. Can you go back one, two minutes? On the lab view, the, the valve, and that's what happened for our third trial. So then we changed one more time with water at 20%, and still we obtained no airflow. So we worked on it for quite a while longer and was still not able to regain airflow. Back up one, please. So this is uh, six kilograms per second, approximately. Mm -hmm. And go the forward again. And this is about three. Nice. Okay. Um, we went down. We saw the pressure gauge down at the second level. And while we were having no airflow, it stayed at 32 PSIG. So I'm not sure what that is about. Um, this is a view of the absorption column from the third floor. Um, we do have a CO2 sensor that does not work right now. So we're hoping to work on that a little bit this week. Um, since we now have CO2 in the lab and incorporate that in the experiment. This is looking down on the absorption column so you can see how it's packed there. <clears throat> and this is the view of the absorption column from the second floor. Um, we try to keep an eye on it right here in the, in the U tube because if we get our water flowing too fast, it starts getting air bubbles and our water flow goes all over the place. This is the lab view interface that we were using. Um, right here is where we control the water and the air valve positions, and that was the only thing we were changing during those four trials that we have provided the graphs for. And this is where we're able to export the data into a Excel spreadsheet. Um, just to summarize, our current challenges for this week is um, regaining airflow working on the water valve, figuring out why it fluctuates so much when we do have airflow, hopefully working on the CO2 sensor and figuring out why we're not able to work it at all. And when we got our CO2 in this week, we realized that the line to connect to the CO2 tank is damaged and probably why we didn't have any CO2 in the first place because it is, it is leaking. So our plan for this week is to figure out what we needed to do to repair that CO2 line. We run the trials and see what results we're obtaining now. We've noticed that the controls lab is also working on this, so maybe something's changed, and we hope to regain airflow today. That's it. Any questions?